Some have called it a boxing match, most called it a millennial publicity stunt. Whatever you want to call YouTubers facing off in a boxing match, Joe Rogan says that there is no cause for concern. And nobody saw this coming. Nobody thought like the biggest broadcast show is going to be something that someone just does on their own. Yeah, uh -uh. In a recent podcast, Rogan said most combat sports are actually high level problem solving with dire physical consequences. Getting punched in the head isn't good for your brain. That's your dire physical consequence right there, but no one has to worry about that in the KSI versus Dylan Dana's boxing match. I mean, you have to have a brain to get damaged, right? Like that guy just fought, he had a boxing match that was the, the headline. The one that found a dead body? Yes, yeah. that guy. He, it was the headline of an event at the Staples Center. Wow. KSI and Dylan have agreed terms to face off in a new boxing match. KSI has had four boxing matches in the past against fellow YouTubers and rapper and a professional boxer. Undoubtedly, KSI, with his YouTube audience, growing up and seeing right through his bullshit, is looking to line his pockets before he becomes irrelevant. KSI beat Weller by stoppage the first time and wasted no time calling out another YouTuber that'll be irrelevant within 10 years. Oh yeah, it's an interesting He's making take. it new enough. You're not really watching yeah, that for the actual but action. you do want to see that what happens. Sure, that's you part of the art projects. Yeah, but he's I've never seen anything they've done, ever. I've got bags to kick, jokes to tell, elk to eat, and coyotes that are trying to fucking kill my chickens. But chances are that if I don't know this KSI kid or this Dylan, very few people actually care about them. Laugh Rogan. Rogan had a puzzled look on his face and stopped gulping on a green smoothie long enough to say, well, there are a lot of dummies on planet Earth. All I know about this KSI kid is that he bought a house that he probably won't be able to afford in 10 years time and that he made a video of himself standing next to a person that committed suicide by hanging. That's just rude. But idiots will follow idiots. It's been that way since the beginning of time. I'm, I'm sure he's just like, I'm getting paid. Who gives a fuck? I'm getting views too, but more views. It's good for him. Wow, so that's see crazy. What a killer he is. It's Dr. Rodia Buffetata from the University of Head Trauma in Boston has voiced her causes for concern about the YouTuber boxing match. Dr. Buffetata also released a study citing the brain damage that YouTuber boxing matches can cause. My concern is not just for Mr. KSI and Mr. Dylan's brains being damaged, but also the millions of children that'll tune in to watch the live streaming of boxing event on YouTube. My study was conducted during the KSI versus Weller boxing match and we have proven that viewers of the boxing match could actually feel their IQs dropping as they're watching the boxing fight. Joe Rogan disagrees with Dr. Bovatata. If they subscribe to KSI on YouTube, they're effed and watching this boxing match isn't going to make them any dumber. These subscribers are clearly as dumb as you can get, but who isn't an idiot at the age of 10? Tickets for the boxing event are going on sale soon and both YouTubers stand to make millions from their exhibition. Well, Dylan Dennis, welcome to Austin, Texas. Fight against KSI confirmed. How'd you feel? It felt great. I mean, it's easy money, to be honest. That's a little bitch of a thing. I'm used to fighting real fighters. He's, he's, he's not ready for this. I guarantee you I knock his ass out. Watch. People are buying tickets to watch this. Are you effing kidding me? For real? Buying tickets? Oh, Jesus, that super volcano under Yellowstone better go off soon. Because if you're telling the truth, we are really effed as a species said Rogan with a joint hanging from his lips as he was swinging around gorilla-shaped kettlebells. Meanwhile, it has been revealed that Jake Paul will not participate in the next event, pitting a mixed martial arts fighter against a YouTuber in a boxing match this time around. Instead, it'll be a showdown between two adversaries who have reached their limit for the first time this year. On January 14th, 2023, mixed martial arts combatant Dylan Dennis will square off against boxer and YouTuber KSI. The Oval Arena Wembley in London is where the fight's gonna take place. The Misfits and the Zone X series will continue with the fourth installment of their events. They have made it official that they'll engage in combat with one another at the next Misfits event. For the first time since 2019, Dennis will compete in a professional fight. Dennis is 2-0 in mixed martial arts and he won his most recent fight by submission against Max Humphrey at Bellator 222. Dennis is associated with Conor McGregor. Since then, Dennis has maintained his status as popular as well as a controversial character by engaging in brawls with YouTubers in settings other than a ring or cage. There's been talk of a fight between the two of them as well as between Dennis and the two Paul brothers. Dan has challenged KSI in the buildup to the Misfits and DAZN X Series 3 a few weeks after getting into a confrontation with Nate Diaz at UFC 281. The fight was broadcast on Misfits and DAZN X Series 3. The two became involved in a fight that quickly spread to involve several other competitors on the card. Right, no, I'm excited. Yeah, no, I'm excited. Are you going to sign the contract or no? No, pussy, stop. Yeah, yeah. Let me choke you out right here. No, no, you don't need to. No, yeah. But I can knock you out if I want to. Yeah, do it right now. 
What, right now? Yeah. That right what, a little slap? Yeah, no more. Get off the building. According to MMA Junkie, Dennis has been given clearance by Bellator to compete in this match. In 2018, YouTuber and singer KSI competed in his first amateur boxing fight, which he won by knocking Joe Weller out. After that, KSI fought Logan Paul in August of that year in the Manchester Arena, and the fight ended in a draw. After being promoted to the professional ranks, the rematch took place at the Staples Center, where KSI prevailed against Paul via a split decision. August 2022 marked KSI's comeback to boxing, and on his first night back, he won over Swarms and Luis Alcaraz Pineda. There are whispers that KSI and Jake Paul could face off in the year 2023. For the time being, he needs to deal with Dennis first. It is now that time once more, time to shut Daniel Dennis up before the timer runs out. I will put Dennis away for good and add one more Infinity Stone to my collection, KSI tweeted. Dylan Dennis, who's Conor McGregor's jiu-jitsu trainer, had been going back and forth on social media, trying to provoke each other and expressing their want to fight. After a protracted period of all callouts, the two competitors will at long last square off against one another in a fight that will be broadcast on pay-per-view. Although the combat is not slated to take place until January 2023, internet users have begun sharing their opinions. Fans, to everyone's surprise, chose to support their YouTuber rather than the MMA fighter. The fight between KSI and Dylan Dennis is scheduled to take place on a pay-per-view card in London on January 14, 2023. According to an announcement made by DAZN at the YouTubers Misfits Series 3 weigh-ins, the two of them were seen. The report was published on MMA Junkie's Instagram account. Fans, on the other hand, were not pleased with the pairing. Recently, during the events of Misfits Boxing, promoted by KSI, Dennis showed up and approached KSI. Although the conversation began with a hospitable tone, Things went awry when Conor McGregor's sparring partner softly punched KSI with his left hand. He said do it right now before all hell broke loose. Immediately, the two were separated and Dennis walked out. Surprisingly, the former Bellator fighter, Anthony Taylor, laid in wait for Dennis. Taylor seemingly swung a right hand at Dennis as an act of avenging KSI. Although the heat died down pretty quickly, the news blasted through the internet. It has been over three years since Dennis has set foot in the arena. Without a doubt, fans are skeptical of the fight and show their support for the YouTuber KSI. What are your thoughts on the pay-per-view bout? Let us know in the comments section down below.